Kelly Show, and today I'm here with my doll I just got in the mail, and I've already screwed off her back. She does need batteries, so we will be putting that in. I'm going to teach you guys how to clean her really well. So, one of the first tips I suggest is cleaning her out with baking soda and white vinegar. So, right now in this bottle I have white vinegar, and I'm going to put a half teaspoon of baking soda in. You might be thinking, explosions. And yeah, you're right. It's gonna explode. It's gonna happen. But it cleans the doll super well. So I'm gonna finish that and then I will show you me feeding. So this is like not my normal filming spot, but it works. So we are going to be feeding this to her. And this works. Yeah, it's still filming. Er Bug, bubbling, I don't know. Um, I suggest this because it really cleans out if she has any like clumps of stuff in her. It will clean it out. And it looks like she has a little bit of clumps. So, I mean, and she at least can still go to the bathroom and stuff. So that's probably one of the first steps. Um, so the next step is to, well, I suggest cleaning her out with like a wet wipe or whatever first, um, and then doing like whatever else you need to do. Sometimes it's fixing her hair. She also needs putting batteries in, but we'll be doing that in this video. Yeah, more like I've like moved on. Oh, sorry, my hands like really slippery right now. Um, but I am gonna give her a little bit more water, so I'll let you know when I'm done with reminder of the clumps and stuff out of her so time to move on to the next step well first obviously like dump this but then it's time to move on to the next, the next step. step is to take a wipe and just wipe her really well front and back everywhere even on her speaker that's why i mean just wipe her gently on her speaker so just barely kind of rub over her and then do that for everywhere and eventually you might need a magic eraser but i'll let you know if she needs it so she's pretty clean, but there's a spot. So we're gonna be using magic eraser, and I will get back to you. And there's a couple other spots, so I'll get back to you as soon. So at this point, I fixed her up as much as possible. That's the only spot that didn't come off. It's just kind of like a birthmark type thing. Um, so the next step is to put the battery. Two double A batteries right now, and I'm gonna be putting these in, and I will turn you guys on to see if she works. All right, let's try. Mommy, mommy. Well, did I make a stinky? That's good. Um, she works. And anyways, we are now going to move on to the last step. And so this is what I'm hair. using to fix her hair with. Um, I don't think I'm going to be using much shampoo, but just in her. Uh, their shampoo's not. Right. I'm up here, and I have my shampoo. Well, not just a shampoo. Um. Anyways, we're going to be washing your hair, and as soon as it's completely washed, I will get back to you. Um, to oh, you. Right. So, we have washed your hair, um, and I'd say it's pretty good. I feel like sometimes with the dolls that have super tangly hair, it's really hard to wash, but hers was pretty easy, actually. Um, the shampoo was really easy, you know, to put in. And anyways, we're gonna be doing her hair now. We don't end up needing a little bit of thing anywhere, but I think we're good. So anyways, we're gonna be we're just gonna be putting it into like a side ponytail. I know that's what the um, Baby Alive company has put it into, like if you get her new in the box, they have it in a side ponytail. So I just thought I'd go ahead and do that as well. So I mean, it's okay. The bangs need to dry before you can really do much with them. Alright guys, so this is kind of what she's looking like right now. Which I think I did a pretty good job from, as you probably saw from my last video, how the, like how it was working last time. And anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Please click like and subscribe. And in the comments, let me know if you liked the way I did her hair. Thanks guys, bye.